who benefits from people being sick in countries, uh, whole generations becoming sick? Who benefits? The one who owns the big farmer. And it is the one, yes, who the one who owns the industries. Yeah. Um, the pharmaceuticals, the communications, they are the only people who will benefit. Yeah. And the countries that they are based in. But, but if we didn't talk about, uh, if we look at a global takeover, mm. and we look like that they don't care about the national nationalities, they see it as a supranational, that they want the world power, and when you talk about the tetra all over, tetra, and, yeah. and the tetra, yeah. and, and how it's done, it might be mm. an attempt to, some are saying, you know, some call it conspiracies, some call it whatever, but we look at how society is and what is going on. And it might look like that the populations are being run down mm. and many are dying actually from illnesses. It's called a slow kill perhaps, these methods yep. being used. <coughs> and then it's part of the depopulation also if the female cannot Absolutely. get any more children. Yep, yep. It's depopulation, uh, I mean what would be better than having a smaller population totally under your control? That's a slave race. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah the may, goal. I, I don't know. It may be. Yeah, that's that's their goal, really. Um, so, yeah, it, it's. This is where we're going, anyway. And if you can manipulate the royals who control the countries, it's a bit like at the end of the war uh, when the Americans, when Japan surrendered, they kept the emperor because the emperor controlled the people, and the Americans manage if they could control the emperor they would control the country yeah. and here if you control the royals you control the country it, which is simple i mean the, the first thing the mobile industry do when they move in is they go for the top people yeah there was a there was a cia research director in 1972 <clears throat> he said yep. that mind control means a world where you can control every thought every feeling every yep. observation and every need yep. by electrical stimulation of the brain oh yeah and then you know i'm just the man on the floor and i said yep. well when you put this mobile phone to your head and you have a mobile phone tower yep. and everything you do today has to do with electrical devices yeah well could it be that we are seeing a global mind control actually program being rolled out through the wireless? I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Because um, it may be in the, the Western world, but you have opposition like Russia. They also know that this can happen, and they will not let America or Europe dominate Russia. But what if it is Russia doing it? Well, Russia, uh, Russia may be doing it on its own people, but... <clears throat> they are very they, clever, they are very fine. They're, they're, they're <laughs> the world leaders, <laughs> yeah. but they still, they have a similar uh, one, but it's not... The Americans can reach anywhere in the world with harp. Yeah, in Norway as well they have a harp uh, yeah. and Sweden also. <clears throat> yeah, the Americans can actually bounce waves off the ionosphere uh, anywhere around the world with harp. I can't verify that this is true. I know some of it is true, uh, but I can't verify all of it. I only know what I've been told. And I was in Australia. I, I was a, a guest in Parliament of uh, one of the ministers. Uh, Lee Rhiannon, Green, a lovely lady, a Green Minister. And uh, I, I spent a couple of days with her talking and giving her documents. <clears throat> and it's one of these big black car turns up at the hotel. I had a very mysterious phone call uh, from a, a government official. And like you, I know when I'm talking to people who know what they're talking about. You know, if, if somebody didn't know, I, I would spot it in about 30 seconds, just by the words they used. <clears throat> I had a, a phone call from a chap saying, we need to talk, and we need to talk very, very privately. Fine, okay? So I go down, 
big black car and he takes me off into the night and he takes me down into the basement of a building and it's quite dark and it was where he worked quite dark and again I thought this is going to be the bullet in the back of the head you know but <clears throat> we sat down and we, we spoke and he said he said I'm very very scared Barry he said <clears throat> He said, we've reached the situation now where, with harp, that can reach anywhere in the world. <clears throat> he said, years ago, and I knew this to be true because I was told it before. You have, you know if somebody has a heart attack uh, and their heart stops, you can put the things on it and, dunk, and it starts the heart. He says, we now have bacteria as you have like with the great plagues going back the years bacteria can lie dormant in the soil for hundreds and hundreds of years and they can be reactivated we know sometimes you get grave diggers if they are digging a grave that was a grave before and somebody was buried there from the plague sometimes you can even get bubonic plague uh, which is now easily treated with penicillin. But the bacteria can come back with the frequency of light. <clears throat> and he said, what we've got now is government scientists, and he said, I'm very scared about this, we have government scientists who have developed frequencies that can regenerate the bacteria from its dormant state into its live state. He said, now think of the implications. He said, if I want to come to your country, I can just drop bacteria. Let's say I want to cause a wheat dem a devastation or cattle, uh, a disease in all of your cattle. He said, all I've got to do is come to a, some of your farms, walk over the farms, drop the bacteria, which will, and come back. Then, just using the frequency, you can, with from harp, you can bounce the same frequency around the planet, or use towers. You can reinstate, activate the bacteria, and you have mad cow disease, you have wheat disease, you have tree fungus. He said you can devastate a country's economic value at the push of a button. He says you can bring total devastation to the farming or the livestock of trees, whatever. You can totally devastate a country. And he said it can get even worse because inside dormant bacteria you can have dormant virus. And when the bacteria come to life, the virus will come to life. And virus can stay dormant longer than bacteria. He said, so we've got to the stage now where we're into microbiological warfare from things like harp, mobile towers, and we can induce any form of bacterial warfare in any country by the use of this system. He said, and it is so easy now, and this is actually up and running. He said, it is so easy now to bring total devastation and economic ruin to any country by microwaving it and bringing the bacteria to life. Can you say what nationality, without mentioning a name, just what nationality was he? He was Australian. But he got the research, uh, I think he got the research from a joint venture between the British and the American governments. Yeah. Uh, and there was actually something on the web, so it's, it wasn't secret at the time. There was something on the web that somebody sent to me where it says we can now regenerate yeasts by electromagnetic pulses. We can regenerate yeast and 
In yeast, you can put bacteria, and in bacteria, you can put viruses. So it was actually on the internet first, but, but he was Australian, and it was British scientists and American scientists doing this. So it is known. And, and this is very scary, where, you know, if, if you can bring about the devastation of a total country, you know, and then, of course, you go in with your aid. It makes plague look like nothing. <clears throat> it makes plague look like nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, and I often wonder when you hear the news and you think, well, there's a whole big, all of our beef a few years ago was wiped out with mad cow, what we call mad cow disease. And in other countries like Denmark, Sweden, so on, whole forests all of a sudden fall victim to a disease. And I think, well, is this normal, you know, or, or was it deliberate? Uh, and of course it is international finance now. And if you can cause this, you can go in with the aid. But it's certainly up and running.